grade four math practice test for TN ready on this version of the test. This is question number 20. Think about this situation. A baseball weighs five ounces. A football weighs three times as much as the baseball. So they're kind of going to give away the plot here. Three times as much as the baseball. How much does the football weigh? Which equation could represent this situation? So first thing we have to look at is perspective. We know the baseball weighs five ounces and the football weighs three times as much as the baseball, which means it weighs more. So we're going to increase this size to something else. So if it would lead to a smaller number, that's not something that you want to do. You probably already know this one in your head anyway, but I might as well go over it. Well, it says times, right? That's our ultimate. That's like the not even math teacher version of multiply. So we'll just look for one that has multiply in it. So 5 plus 3. No, that's out. This uh, the math word here would be sum, by the way. 5 minus 3, nah, that math word is difference. This is just an additional piece. You don't actually need this. 5 times 3, well, if it's 5 times 3, that looks about right, doesn't it? So my answer is going to be here. The math word for this is product. And 5 divided by 3, the math word here is quotient. But all you need to know was this word that was times and then you just need to match it with the appropriate um, symbol here no big deal if for some reason you just wanted to check the rationality of answers like you wanted to see well is it more than five so five plus three this is a possibility five minus three I'm just saying it's calculator section whatever that seems much bigger doesn't it and three times is kind of a lot so that seems reasonable five divided by three is a mess so it's not going to be either of those two. Anyway, that's it. You just really had to know what the word times meant. Not a super difficult question to get correct.